Look at that, meat on a stick. Who doesn't like meat on a stick? That is chicken satay. That's what we're gonna make today. Juicy, tender chicken breast full of flavor. Let's get that chicken marinating. Anytime you do something with a marinade, the longer it marinades, the more flavor you invoke into that meat. So you wanna let this go at least two hours, but it can go overnight as well. That's what we're gonna start right now. Our marinade. Okay, lemon juice diced shallots, minced garlic, cayenne pepper, ginger, turmeric. I know what you're thinking. That is going to be so much flavor and we're not even done yet. We've still got coriander, cumin. Now remember, seriously, description down below, all the exact measurements, simple step by step because it can be overwhelming when you see this much stuff in front of you i'd be like oh forget that crazy lady what is she doing just read that description it's a no fail marinade i promise you'll be able to figure it out dark soy sauce if you don't have dark soy sauce you can use just regular soy sauce use whatever you have darker soy sauce just has a little bit more of a richer flavor but regular soy sauce will work fish sauce yes you heard that right fish sauce <laughs> Strange, crazy ingredient, but it works. Brown sugar. Oh, I'm not allowed to sing. Sorry. Brown sugar. <laughs> Vegetable oil. You can use canola oil. You can use safflower oil. You can use any kind of just a neutral oil. Don't use an olive or an avocado or anything like that. This is simply just to kind of help moisten that meat up. You don't want the flavor from the oil. In it goes. I know. That seems like a lot, but it'll be so worth it. Just whisk, whisk away now. Once you have that all mixed up really well, you're going to want to reserve a little bit of that for after the fact. Once we start cooking these up, I'll tell you when, but you don't want to, you don't want to use it after the meat's already been in there because that's that raw meat. You're going to get Ebola, E. coli, sassafras whatever it is you get from chicken you don't want it i don't want it just a little bit we don't need a lot for later because we're going to use it as a glaze on our chicken chicken i am using chicken breasts in this recipe just pound it out sliced thin you're going to put them on a skewer so this is a perfect size in they go oh this is going to be so good oh. and i know that because this is not my first time making these <laughs> It's my first time filming it though. And we're just gonna mix it all up in there just to coat it really, really well. My big old Ziploc baggie, without making too big of a mess, we're gonna do our best. We're gonna dump this into there, see how well we do. I think we'll do just fine. Just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and seal this up and we're gonna put it in the refrigerator for at least two hours, but upwards of 24 and then we'll start cooking. All right, our chicken has been marinating for a couple of hours now, so it is time to start cooking. Got my skillet, go ahead and get some oil heating up. Just a standard oil again. You don't wanna put any kind of flavored oil in here because you don't wanna mar the flavors that we created with that delicious marinade. You can cook these out on like a flat top grill if you'd like, or on a barbecuer if you would like as well, but we got hit with snow last night, so it is really, really cold outside, and I really can't go up and down my steps so much, so I'm not gonna stand out there and cook. A skillet works just as well. You are gonna wanna cook these at about a medium, not a medium, yeah, let's just do medium. While that's heating up, you're gonna get your little wooden skewers and let's skewer some chicken. My skewers were a little long, as you could tell, so I broke the ends off, which works beautifully. If you are going to cook these on an open flame, so like on a barbecuer, you're gonna wanna make sure and soak your skewers for a couple of hours in water so that they don't catch fire if you're using wooden skewers. If you've got those really fancy metal ones, obviously don't soak them. You wanna kinda of make sure that they are spread out pretty flat on those skewers so that they really hit the pan. There we go. While we've got that going, we're gonna make up a really gorgeous little salad to go on the side that goes great with these, especially if you eat them in a flatbread. As we make this salad, if you've been watching some of my other videos, you might know that this is also the same salad that I put together that goes with our kofta. Oh, if you haven't seen that video, please go watch that video 
it is such an amazing lamb dish again on skewers because who doesn't like meat on a stick these you just want to kind of cut them just into bite-sized little pieces so our cherry tomatoes and then I've got some English cucumber. This salad is also a great way to use up any leftovers that you have going on in your refrigerator. You can use a regular cucumber. It is truly up to you. And again, just bite-sized pieces. And last but not least, some red onion. If you've got shallots, you can certainly use a shallot in this as well. Other than that, I wouldn't recommend any other onion. It's just not going to give you that flavor that we're going for. Red onion is my first choice. But like I said, you've got a shallot, use a shallot. It will work just as well. And just slight, just little, little slivers, I guess it would be. Little slivers, little bite-sized pieces. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at that chicken. It's looking perfect. Before we flip it, let me show you how this looks. See that, that nice, oh, see that nice golden brown we've got going? We wanna go ahead and glaze them now before we flip them. Oh, just a little bit of glaze on there. Oh my goodness. Mm. Oh, you remember all those spices that we put in that marinade? Oh, when you heat them up, they just let out even more of that aromaticness and it's just fantastic. Go ahead and flip them now. Once you get them flipped, let's go ahead and glaze them one more time because they are about done. It's a thin slice uh, chicken breast. Doesn't take long at all once we start cooking them. There we go. Woo. Now back to our salad. So to the salad, we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil. Now, all of this is basically your preference on how much you wanna add for flavor purposes. I'm gonna add probably about a teaspoon, I would say and also balsamic vinegar. Balsamic vinegar is a very pungent vinegar, so you don't need much. Just a light little drizzle and you're good to go. And then last but not least, just a little bit of salt and pepper. I do like to use the kosher salt. It's just the bigger chunks, I think are just, just better. You taste them a little bit better. And for some reason they don't seem as salty flavored as your iodized salt and that's it that's a simple delicious little side salad to go along with those skewers and let's get this plated up so the best way to plate this up is just to put the salad on the plate all these flavors that we put together here go really really well you can also make this dish with pork if you prefer do like some thin sliced pounded out pork little pork skewers would be absolutely delicious as well. Same marinade is going to go just as well. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. These are so tender and juicy and just absolutely delicious. Chicken satay. That's what this is called. I highly recommend making it I do not think you will be disappointed at all. Very hot though, so be very careful. And then I've also got some homemade peanut sauce that I made up. I will post the recipe for the peanut sauce in the description down below with the recipe for the whole meal. Even my homemade tzatziki sauce. You know what, I'll put that down there for you. And some flatbread, such an easy dinner. The marinade, you let it go, you take it out, you skewer them, you fry them, barbecue them roast. You could even probably air fry them, but that's it. Dinner right there. This is how I recommend you eat it. Do your own thing. Of course, you are your own person. A little bit of bread. The meat on the skewer, I recommend just you just kind of grab a piece and just pull it right off of there. And it should just pull right apart because it is so juicy and tender on the inside, right? Then you just grab up a little bit of your vegetables, a little bit of your salad, just like this. We're just kind of building like a little finger sandwich, if you will. And then either your peanut sauce or your tzatziki. Dip it and you just take, just eat it. This is such a quick and easy meal to make that my husband and I probably eat something like this at least once a week, whether it be the chicken on the skewer or we've done the lamb. Like I said, the kofta. Even our, our, our charcuterie boards are kind of funky. They're like this with a little bit of the salad and then we'll have a salad on the side, another like a green salad with feta cheese. Another amazing thing. If you want to add feta cheese to this as well, you can't go wrong. It's absolutely delicious. 
And that's it. That's all there is to it. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, bye.